for the life of me, I couldn't find the quote, and I really wish I could. It may have been Gabriel Gonzaga, but it was someone uh, in MMA who said that they had grappled or sparred with every big uh, major heavyweight from Brock Lesnar to everybody else, and he said that you were stronger than Brock. You were the strongest person he ever grappled with. I hope it's the right person I've just said there. Having said that, um, how much could you lift in your absolute prime? What were the biggest benches, squats, deadlifts? I did 605, and I weighed 227 pounds in a bench press. Yeah. I benched, I mean, I squatted 560. I deadlifted 700 pounds. So, uh, and it's just all talk. Like, you, you know, I'm just telling you, so no one has to take what I'm saying uh, for true. But you talk to people down in uh, Mooresville, North Carolina, where I was working at Adam's Gym down there in pro wrestling. That's why I did the bench press. Um, they'll tell you, you know, so. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've been gifted with strength. That's what helped me through a lot of my earlier in my career before I knew a whole lot of technique strength is what got me through. And I was able to dominate just on strength. And then came my technique. As I got older, I, I lost the strength. No question. Uh, my strength went away, uh, because of, uh, you know, the shoulder, I blew out a shoulder, I blew out a knee, um, those things, when those things happen, you know, that strength deteriorates. And so, a lot of people in the end of my career, if I was saying this, would say, man, he wasn't that strong. Well, of course not. I was 52 years old or 51 years old or 46 years old uh, with injuries on top of it. So um, you weren't able to judge that properly. But uh, I even worked out with one of Tyson's um, mitt guys. And um, he told me the same thing that in every one of my punches, whether it was a jab, a right hand, a hook, an uppercut, I had power in both hands and some of the, and even as equivalent as Mike Tyson. Uh, could you give me a, maybe a typical workout of like maybe time reps, that kind of thing. How would you like really tap the gym? If you're going to have a proper gym day. For strength only, if I was just going in, just to try to get a strength workout in, Absolutely. it would be five. It would actually start out as a warm up, doing anywhere from 10 to 12 with lightweight. And then I drop it down to five and I would do a ladder where we go five, four, three, two, one. And then, one, two, three, four, and five back up again with actually decreasing the heavyweight from the one, uh, actually starting at five and then going heavier, 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 all the way up to one. And then staying with that one, doing it one time, and then the next time, each time taking off 10 pounds and doing two. Do you, uh, like these days, do you just do like three, you know, 10 sets of 10 German volume or something like that, where it's just a lot easier on your body, that kind of thing? How do you, how's your workout changed over the years? Yeah, now it's definitely all uh, high reps, uh, maintenance, nothing heavy. Uh, for me, it's just maintaining what I already have. Now, obviously, if I go into a training camp or something like that, where I'm going in and I'm going to do a pro wrestling thing, I would increase my weight. I would start putting on a little bit more size uh, at the same time, increasing my conditioning. So it, it all changes depending on what I'm doing. But right now, as we sit where I've got nothing really planned, all I'm doing is maintaining what I have, and that's just doing reps. 